Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another episode of Mars Horizon. I wanted to take a look at one of the other, one of the other space agencies. So uh, we've we've seen the United States Space Agency in the preview video I made, even though we didn't play as NASA, we it still had the United States culture. So we could play as the ESA, Soviet Union, China, or Japan. I haven't seen either one of these myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with China. We are going to be the Chinese People's Republic of China Space Agency. And we get a minus 25% research cost for building's research tree and a mining, minus 25 building construction cost and upkeep. And we receive 100% of the first phase science reward for failed launches. So that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. All right. So we have our little welcome message. I'll let you read that if you want. I think it's the same for every space agency with the exception of the greeting all right and now we have our start so the first thing you want to do is come in here and start researching the small launch pad that way we can get ready to do our first mission which is the test launch i'm going to plan that mission i'm going to grab our sounding rocket and there we go it is the zheng dang all right i like that whoops I accidentally hit them oh no Where's my Zheng Dang? Oh, well, now I got the Guaxni. Guan, Guanxi. Guanxi. I am butchering this, I am certain. 100% certain. All right, so we're going to go ahead and build that sounding rocket. And we're going to wait the two months for it to be complete. And at the same time, we should get the research on our launch pad complete. Yep, there we go. And I believe it takes... Ooh, I like this. I like this. Uh, oops. I keep, I keep mouse clicking when I should not. All right, so I like this a lot. Yeah, that, that looks really cool. All right, so let's grow with our, oh, I love the uh, reduced cost for sure. Oh, that's nasty though. I have to clear out these rocks so that I don't get my malice here. I could just waste those two tiles there. That's what I'm gonna do for now. I'm wasting it. I'm wasting it. I'm assuming you, we can clear out buildings and yeah, you can even move them. Sweet. Okay. Can you rotate it? Can you rotate the building? Oh, you can. You can do something like that. There we go. Much better. Much more better. All right. So now we have to wait a month for both of those things to happen. And our research needs to be updated. Let's go ahead and start researching our artificial satellite mission. And then we'll have to research the technologies to launch that satellite as well. All right, the small launch pad is complete. We're gonna try to rush through this sounding rocket portion of the, the game so we can get to the first challenge, which is the satellite mission. Which I did not get to show in the preview, so I'm excited to show it in this video here. Alright, so we have a 30% launch reliability. Not great. Not great. We will set our launch date as April. That's the soonest we can do it. We are well ahead of our arrivals. And we're going to do our first launch in China. Launch the mission. Oh, it's raining. Ugh. It's going to lower our launch reliability. Eee. Yikes. All right, we're going to do it, though. Press forward! Lift off. Come on, baby. You got this. You got this. You got it. You got it. Come on. You got this. Yes! Success. All right. Fantastic. Very good. Oh, we even went into a good launch. A neutral launch, I mean. Which is better than a negative event. <laughs> so, I'm happy with that. Our sounding rocket leveled up. About 15%. That's good. 
And we were first in the launch, so we got extra support for that. That's awesome. Extra support means extra funds. So right now we're getting 51k from our funding and 4k from our buildings. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I don't think we have any missions or requests or anything we, we can actually do at the moment. Still researching the artificial satellite mission. That'll be done next turn. So let's just go ahead and skip to the next turn. And we have our artificial satellite research complete. All right. Excellent. And we've unlocked the moon. The moon's out of jail. Get out of jail free card. Moon. All right. Cool. So you can see we got a little message list here of one of our, our competitors are doing the same thing we just did. But they're going to be another three and four months. <laughs> Suckers. All right. So let's go over here to the vehicles. And I want to start getting some of these boosters and payload deliverers research because I'll need both of these to do that satellite mission so let's just go ahead and do doesn't matter because I need them both uh, and if you go into the mission matter of fact if we go into this artificial satellite mission oh did I not complete that research I guess I yeah yeah I did artificial satellite mission Why is it still locked? Oh, because I have to do the research for the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got to do this Dong Fang Hong artificial satellite research for the payload. Okay, sorry. we got to do that first, and then we can do these two. Well, you can do them in any order, but I like to do it in this. That way we can start building this while we're researching these boosters and everything. All right, so skip a couple. We got the Dong Feng Hong one. Research is complete. It's equipped with a basic radio transmitter. All right, very good. So now we can go in here and start the artificial satellite research and it can show you the suggested mission vehicle parts that you'll need to research in order to do that mission. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the upper stage. There we go. And we're gonna start the planning of the building of the payload here which is the artificial satellite so we have the Dong Fang Hong one and up here you see you have four different options you have the standard which gives you a payload rating of one 65% payload capability the crew capacity will always be zero starting power of four mass 175 build time two months 100k if you switch over to the comms you get improved communications modules but reduced reliability. So it went from 65% reliability to 55%, but you get more comms when you do a comms task, which is one of the things you do once you launch this kind of little puzzle game. A little puzzle game that you have to do in space to get all of the data that you need, comms and data. The prototype reduces the cost. So if you're pinching pennies, you might want to use that prototype. It cuts the cost in half, but it also reduces the reliability by quite a bit. Power increases the cost by 50K, but it gives you two extra power. This is actually a good choice, especially in the later ones, because sometimes it's hard to get the task done with the amount of power that it gives you. I'm going to go with the standard because we don't have a just a heck of a lot of money so I'm thinking we might go standard or we could go comms uh, I think I'm gonna go with standard yeah we'll go standard all right so I'll build that for 100k Bink. there we go and I guess we're gonna go to the next month all right we got the long March research is complete and we're going to do the long march booster so that's good getting 112 science so that's good so plenty of science coming in for now that's making our research go really quickly all right an early liquid fuel rocket capable of launching basic satellites into earth and lunar orbits all right fantastic so now we have the satellite complete the payload the Dong Feng Hong 
had uh, minus 25% vehicle build time, minus 25% su uh, support award. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. So you get sometimes you get these little standard, I mean, uh, little uh, events that happen after the thing is complete and you get different bonuses and malices, which is interesting. All right, so now I can design the mission, the vehicle, the launch vehicle. The upper stage is, guess what? The Long March. <laughs> That's the only one I've got. But it can carry uh, 350 kilograms, 55% reliability, uh, takes two months, 90K, 1300 kilograms itself. So this determines which launch pad you have to use to, uh, to launch from. The booster is also going to be the Long March. It's a, relatively similar stats as the upper stage as far as its capabilities. So we're going to go ahead and grab it. It's going to be named the key. I like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. 160k for that. It has an expected reliability of 58%. All right. Three months. So NASA, ESA, and Japan all finished their artificial, I mean, their sounding rocket launch. So now we can start doing research on our next task, which will be probably the rocket test pad. That will give us uh, some training that we can do to increase our reliability, but it'll also help us to unlock new buildings down the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it looks like we also might have a request launch, yes. But we can only have one mission active at a time, and we already have our other mission, so I can't take that one just yet. Not without mission control, in which we'll unlock two missions at once. Woo! -hoo. All right, Soviet Union finally completed their test launch. All right, we got our rocket test pad research complete. We can come in here and we can build that for 75k. Woo! That's it. All right, what do we, we get bonuses for having it both on both of those? So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. And we're gonna have to take it easy on building here for a while. Uh, but I think we will go ahead and go for mission control research. We're gonna need that research. Oh, I have to research the research lab first. Darn, darn you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I see the branch there. Research lab research is complete. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. And it looks like our vehicle has completed its build as well. Beautiful. All right, it has plus 10% launch reliability, minus 10% re payload reliability. Yeah, that's that's the worst, because that's where I'm going to have to do my challenge at. But that's okay. As long as it launches, I think it'll be all right. It's an uncrewed mission. All right, so we can go ahead and set it to launch this upcoming month of December. That will be good. I could wait and then do some training to increase the reliability, but I think we're just going to go for it. Just going to go for it. They're still several months behind us, so I think we're, we're okay there. Let's go ahead and do the mission control next, and then we'll start unlocking some more vehicles next. All right, here we go. We are launching our artificial satellite. Yes, 69% launch, which is pretty excellent for this stage of the game. Here goes the key. It's raining again. Ah, bummer. We could reschedule. It's not like we're several months ahead of the competition. Hey. It's only a 12% failure. If I get a negative, I'll still be happy. We'll just get reduced rewards. I think we can go for it. No! Oh, I thought that was a failure. I was like, oh no! It has something wrong. I saw sparks. Don't blow up. Something happened. Something happened. Something wasn't right. Oh! 
I, I guess that's just how it looks. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. That had my the heart in my throat. Had my heart in my throat. Okay. So the long march booster and upper stage both got a uh, level up. So increased our reliability for those. That's excellent. And now for the fun part of the game. Well, I mean, it's all fun. But the part of the game that I haven't showcased yet, except for back in the beta, is we have to do our task, which is to collect two data and two communications with this satellite. All right, so the way this works is you have an objective here. It tells you how many you've gotten out of the required. It shows you how much power you have. And then if you want to get... 50% uh, bonus reward you have to perform this additional task so instead of getting two of each you have to get three of each and then right here are your options so each turn and you have four turns for this particular vessel we get two commands and we have to get as much comms and data each turn as possible with as much power as we have to satisfy the objective <laughs> so um first thing we're going to do is just going to go something or something easy we could go one power to get one comms and if that is successful we could do one comms and one power to get all three data in one go so i think we're gonna go for that high risk high reward baby oh no and it failed uh, signal return test failed. Okay, so what do we do about that? Well, if I just accept the loss, then my second task will also fail. But I could spend an extra power, and it will allow us to continue on to the next task. Which is one power, one calm. Oh, come on! Random number generator. Oh, it got it. Oh, God, that was close. This random number generator is giving me a heart attack. All right, so now we have all the data we need. Don't have to worry about that at all. But we only have one power left. So I'm going to use one of my tasks to recharge the battery. And then I'm going to use one. Uh, what should I do? Should I use one of the datas to get two comms? And then we could spend the next turn... We got, still got three turns remaining, so I could take the next turn to get one calm and one data. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to recharge the battery and try to get the comms. Oh, come on! <sighs> RNG is killing me. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and resist it. Spend an extra power. Alright, so now we've got our objective complete. we got two turns remaining. But we still need to get our bonus objectives. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge the battery again. And then I'm going to get a signal return test to get that extra calm in there. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. This does not want me to succeed. That is for sure. Alright, so this is our last chance. I'm going to recharge the power and go for the data. If we fail in this task, we will not get our bonus objective. I have never had this poor of results before. I mean, this is crazy. Oh my god. I just have to accept it. We don't get the bonus reward. Darn you. Darn you, Dong Hong Fine. What was it? Dong Thing Hong? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still got pretty good rewards, just not as good as I would have gotten if we would have gotten that bonus objective. Seriously, that was some bad rolls right there. It only is a random number generated, so you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to get that reliability up as high as possible. That way, those random number generations aren't as painful. Okay. That's why we need those training things. Okay, so I could build a new building. We've got the money for it. We've got the research lab, which unlocks training for the science. It is 75k. 
Unfortunately, there's nowhere really good to, to build the thing where it's not gonna cost me an arm and a leg. This this place is seriously. It's got some 125k to place it here. Does does it have to be adjacent to a building? Or can I build it off in the I don't know. Is there any place that does not have tons of obstructions to clear? Not really. It's the name of the game, I guess. 150. This is the cheapest area. Alright. I won't get bonuses from being adjacent, but we'll we'll go ahead and pop it out there. Alright, we could go in on here and start the high altitude mission here. I don't think I have enough money to build the sounding rocket. Jishu. 78k. I can't build the vehicle yet. Okay. Darn you. Alright. Well, I shouldn't have built that building, should I? If I wait till next turn, I should have... No, I still won't have enough. So let's go into the buildings. Let's, let's, let's cancel that. I'm gonna cancel this. Uh, cancel it. How do I cancel it? I guess I can't cancel it. Okay, well. <laughs> you, you, you build it, you buy it, I guess. It's in the, uh, thing there. Okay. Uh, uh, broke it, I bought it. Okay, well. Fears over an artificial satellite. Following your agency's launching the first artificial satellite, several foreign newspapers have claimed the satellite represents a global security threat. Ooh. The other four space agencies have requested that your agency releases the full specifications of your Dong Fang Hong. All right. Your advisors believe agreeing to the request will improve your relation, though some may gain science from it. I'm going to reject it. Top secret. Yeah. I gained support from the locals for it. All right, cool. Budget review was excellent. Now we get 102k per month. That's awesome. Rocket test pad is complete. Awesome. And so, what are we researching? Mission control. I need to start researching these other boosters as well. And I need to start researching either lunar orbit or animal in space. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go here and we'll build this sounding rocket. And we're going to do some high photography. No, that's not taking pictures while you're using drugs. That's taking pictures while you're up high in the space. All right, what are we going to research next? We probably should research the mission first. Are we going to send an animal in space first or a lunar orbit? Let's go lunar orbit next. We want to send something to the moon. Okay, so I could build a new building. What do I have available? I have the mission control. It's expensive. 180 cent and locks an additional mission slot, which would be good. Thing is expensive. Oof, way vague. All right. I have to be careful about spending our money. Let's go ahead and go next. Research lab is complete. Okay. So now we can start doing training every mission, which is excellent. All right. Jishu. Launch reliability increased. Ooh, still 46%. That's awful. All right, so we could set some training. We could get training to increase our science reward. Or my 5%. Or we could increase our launch reliability by 3% per month. Let's do that. So if we set to June, we'll get an increase of 9%. And we will get out of these horrible months that we got <laughs> set up there. So... Sounds good to me. All right, so lunar orbit is under research as well. Japan proposes research exchange. Hmm. It unlocks the research spacecraft assembly facility. Ooh. Okay. If we share the research on a rocket test pad, sure. All right. That's cool. So we un automatically unlock the spacecraft assembly facility. Provides a clean room environment to aid the development of complex mission payloads. Cool. So I guess that would give us a bonus to our payload reliability. It's only 75k. 
put it there, but man, that's expensive because of the all the crap you have to get rid of. 100k for that, 100k for that, and we get cost reduction and payload reliability increase. Our KO. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll build it. Okay. So, got the high altitude photography mission going on in one month. We also got ionic spheric, ionospheric measurements or orbital radio. This one's challenging. This one's lucrative. Against grants funds instead of re normal rewards. This one 25% rewards for all mission success, but we get minus one turn in each task. Wow. Yikes. Okay. Radiation belts discovered. We get additional science. Cool. And our lunar orbital research is now complete. Okay. So now that we've completed that, I can do the payload research. And then I can start researching the... Um, the launch vehicles as well. All right, here goes the high altitude photography. We need this additional science so that we can research our stuff faster here. Okay, launch a sounding rocket equipped with 35 millimeter camera to capture images of the curvature of Earth from high altitudes. All right, cool. Got a 55% launch. Reliability. Nice clear skies for once. Jishu is ready. Adequate conditions. So, no adjustment to the reliability there. Come on, reliability. Stay strong. Alright, there goes the sounding rocket with the camera attached. I don't think I'll have any tasks on this one. I'm not sure. Come on. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice. 50% reward. Nice. And the sounding rocket continues to increase in reliability. That's excellent. 375 for one month. That's excellent. That is excellent. Okay. So we completed another task. So let's go ahead and do one more request we can do ionic spheric measurements or orbital radio. And it looks like both of those involve a orbital um, satellite. So I'm thinking lucrative might be the way to go. For this one, we get support and science, and for this one, we get 500k. Man, that's that's some good money. I'm gonna do that one. How much is it gonna cost to build this sucker, though? I think I'm gonna go with more power this time. Increased power. All right, we can build a payload. Yep. I'm gonna build a Dong Fang Hong satellite. Race to space. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. I will win the race. Heck yeah. Get additional support. Okay. We are getting stuff finished all over the place. NASA just now finished their artificial satellite. So they're a step behind us. Alright, so let's take a look actually at the mission control here. And for the... Oh, we gotta go to the moon. For the moon... The lunar orbit requires either one of these, the Abel or the Jupiter, or the Algal or the Jupiter booster. Alright, so this one has a much higher capacity and higher launch reliability, and it's double cost. Abel upper stage, not quite double the cost. Lower capacity but much higher reliability. 
I'm gonna take the able next okay and then I'm, I'm not sure which booster I'm gonna take I haven't built the mission control yet either have I that actually might be a good thing to build that way I can have more than one mission going mission control is expensive though I don't have the money my building limit is reached oh for the headquarters okay yeah okay can just clear obstructions as you get the money at too I guess all right that's interesting it's 150k to remove that big rock there all right and here we go our second satellite going up for ionospheric measurements our payload reliability has increased vehicle build time has decreased that's fine now we're going to launch our upper stage it's going to be the long march of course and booster is going to be the long march of course this is the feng fa 151k we got the money let's do it it's going to be five months before we get to get that complete All right, got the able research completed. So now we're gonna do which one of these? I'm gonna. I want that extra reliability, but I also want this cheaper one. So I'm gonna go with a cheaper one. All right, the all goal is complete. Now we can go back to doing research. We'll go ahead and research the animal in space as well. And we got some additional request things here. We can do another high altitude photography. Easy science, easy money. Might do that next, I don't know. We've got the money now to do a mission control probably. Yes, as expensive. 887,000. That's 212,000 right there. Holy cow. All right, but we're gonna build it. Okay. We're doing it. We're spending that money. It's going out of style. Okay, like a real space agency. <laughs> Spend it while you got it. Alright, here we go. We increased our to our next tier of support. That's awesome. And we're ready to do our ionospheric measurements vehicle. Excellent. No special effects from it. Uh, let's look at the launch date. Do we want to do any training? Do some payload reliability training. Launch date. Um, could just launch it next month. I want to go ahead and launch it next month. That way we can start doing another mission. So, here we go. January 1959. Cool. Ionospheric measurements. Your scientists have requested placing a satellite in an Earth orbit to measure the fluctuations in the ionosphere. Got it. 79% reliability on our payload, so that's not bad. What is that in the background? Moving around. Is that like a satellite dish or something? What is that? It's weird. <laughs> I can't tell what that is. It's freaking me out. Uh oh. That always makes me nervous. That just looks wrong. No, no! No! Oh, 
that money, all that time wasted. Oh, critical failure. A 1%? I got a 7% critical chance, and I've got a 1. Of course. RNG hates me. RNG hates me. At least we leveled up our boosters, I guess. I mean, that's a lot of money just to throw away. Yeah. Lost support. Uh, shoot. Darn you. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. The NASA is going to be launching the lunar orbit in 11 months. We need to get started on that as well. So we will do that for the next episode. We will start planning that mission. Hopefully we can beat NASA to the lunar orbit. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.